Hi everybody, my name is Matt. Today we're going to talk about the ReadyRad radio adapter, an auxiliary input device that allows you to bridge the time and technology gap between your radio and your car, whether it's a collector car or a daily driver, and your portable music source like your phone, your iPod, that sort of thing. Two things we're going to talk about. One is a radio, speaker, antenna, and ReadyRad laid out on a table for you to see and hear for yourself how it works. After that, we're going to install a ReadyRad in a 1967 Chevy Nova Supersport. Stick around. Now we're going to look at how the radio works in a car and the parts involved. Obviously there's a radio. You're going to have to have a radio. It's going to have to have power. You got a speaker in the dash or multiple speakers and you're going to need an antenna that's typically on the fender. The Ready Red has, has four simple connections. This is going to go into the radio. It's the same connector that the antenna wire uses. Of course, Ready Red is electronic in nature, so there's power and ground cable for that. And lastly, best of all, we've got the input cable that's going to go to your smartphone or your iDevice or CD player, any music source that has a headphone output jack. First of all, we're going to disconnect the negative cable on the car's wiring harness from the battery. Next, we're going to unplug the antenna cable from the back of the radio. We're going to plug ReadyRad into its place, and that goes right in. And now I'm going to connect the antenna back to the ReadyRad. Reconnect the negative battery cable. Now we're going to connect this to vehicle power. I've got a fuse panel here that's representative of 1960s radios. It's the glass fuses. And I've determined in advance that this tab right here is a key on hot uh, tab. And since the radios were key on hot, I'm going to connect the power lead here. Okay. This is the ground wire. I'm going to connect it to one of the available uh, mounting screws on the radio box itself. Now you don't have to use the case of the radio. You can actually connect it very close to where the power lead is connected on a nearby spot behind the dash. That's really, it's, it's you know, yours to discover. Every car is a little different. I'll tighten this down. Now at this point we've got power and ground for the ready red. We've got the ready red and the antenna and the radio properly connected and that's it. That's all there is to this. Now there's the fun part. Simple uh, eye device. Connect it up. We're going to tune to, on the case of the AM ready red, you're going to tune to 1000. On our FM stereo ready red, you tune to 91. Antenna gets bypassed automatically. We press play. But it's not just iPods, so if you're you know, old, more old school and you have collections of music on CDs, well, you can get a portable CD player. They have headphone outputs. Same deal, we're going to go right into the headphone jack. Connect it up. Press play. And of course, most of us have telephones that hold all sorts of music, and Ready Red is compatible with your phone as well. Simply plug it into the headphone jack and press play on your favorite music. Next, we're going to talk about, and you're going to watch as I install Ready Red in a 67 Nova Supersport. So stick around.